When Carol and I first talked about sharing this show, we conceived of it as a series of portfolios or series of print series that explore the idea of the journey. So we call the show Two Artists, Many Journeys. And in our statement that we wrote, we, we talked about the, the fact that m most often we think of a journey as a physical journey across an actual landscape. And certainly there are that depictions which are actual physical landscapes. But that there's also journeys that lead us into small places. And so I have images of pods and shells um, and uh, green pepper cut up. Um, they're the landscapes of a face, the landscapes of a body, um, even of a dream, um, an idea or a reverie. And I think this is more characteristic of um, uh, of Carol's work, and there's the then the, the greater terrain that we cross in the the journeys of birth and death, and that is um, represented in my portfolio that's called the measure of our lives. Um, and these Iran prints, there are five of them hanging, are um, Carol's exploration of much time spent in Iran. She and her husband worked for USAID, um, I believe in the 60s, and um, they then have returned to Iran over the years. Of course, the political situation has changed greatly, but they have friends, they have kept, through the years they worked at a university when they were there um, initially. and. Um, these are not depictions of actual places, but they are, they incorporate actual minarets, buildings. Uh, this is the plans for the enrichment facilities, uh, uranium enrichment facilities in Natanz, which is the title. Um, and you may not be able to see this um, as clearly in a film as you can when you look at the prints on the wall, but she has layered these colors. She's a brilliant colorist, I think, and she has uh, different cut different blocks that she um, superimposes or joins together using different colors so that um, she'll have one or two prints that are like this and this color and then perhaps a, one or two that where she uses different colors. She also incorporates Farsi here, uh, this beautiful lettering. Um, I'm not sure she actually reads Farsi. I think she speaks a little and her husband does. Um, and these are her homage, really, to a country and a people that she has come to love and have been very significant in her life and their lives and also in her artwork. And I think it's clear in um, these prints, but even clearer in the in what she calls her traveling fruit series, the influence of Persian miniatures, um, which of course also are, are from uh, that country. Uh, the influence of those miniatures visually on, on her work.